Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Will and we are back with The Witcher and we are going to continue our open world adventure and explore some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, so there's that huge... Oh, shit, there's a huge mountain in the way. Um, I think we are going to head north. We're going to head north here. Oh wait, no, there, okay, no, there's a spot there we can go to. Uh, we're gonna head here, head up north, hit here, wrap down, hit there. And then that should be most of them unlocked. I think, yeah, there's just two other ones on islands, so there and there. All right, let's do this. Open world adventure time. we do Let's hope today is going better than yesterday. Mafia, the DLC, was not at all what I expected, unfortunately, and was kind of shit. So let's hope today's is a bit better. Um, let's see here. Where is the entry? There we go. Show me what you got. What the? Oh, oh. Hello? He came down to hit me, yet I wouldn't lock on. Got some nests going. They're kind of popping left and right here. That was weird. Landed on the other side of the tree, popped over. Okay, luckily they all came down. Or most of them came down. Yeah, what the heck? They're all like just landing. seen any like usual there should be another one that comes out or another enemy that spawns another one no the rare case where there's nothing else Ooh, we got some eggs yikes would harpy eggs taste good or bad Let's find out. All right, we're gonna continue this mountain path up till this lake and then head over to these ruins. Surprised there's nothing over in here, this little cluster. So yesterday was the Super Bowl and like the Super Bowl does, a shitload of movie trailers came out. Which a really cool Mario trailer came out where it was basically the in-world uh, commercial that Mario and Luigi used to uh, show their uh, plumbing business. Which that was super fun. It was super short. Uh, it gives you a phone number and a website, both of which work. The website's an actual site with the trailer on it and some extra little information. Including some funny like reviews by customers. And the uh, phone, I don't know if they had both of the actors do the voicemail, but if you call it, I got Charlie, Charlie Day, who plays Luigi, basically playing the Luigi character and being like, oh yeah, we, we're out on a job right now. Please call back or check our site. Damn girl. It's like, I love when marketing does fun little things like that with like a little in-world website that they put out or phone number. Yeah, I don't know if they're if you if you call it multiple times or anything if you get like different characters But yeah, when I called I got Luigi 
which I thought was really fun. All right, we got some blue cells. Uh, obviously, the Flash trailer came out, which I'm very excited for. Finally. I've been waiting for that sucker for a long time. Not particularly, like, a super big fan of the Flash. I like him as a character. I've watched the Flash CW show. I liked him in the animated series. I think he's a fun character, but he's definitely not in my, like, top favorites, like Superman or Green Lantern is. Or, like, I think Batman is kind of just, like, everyone likes Batman. Like, if you do not like Batman, I think then you have to state it because you just assume everyone likes Batman. It's like Spider-Man. Who doesn't like Spider-Man? Ah. All right, this is going to be dangerous. Oh, I should eat something. I didn't have any food on. We got some munchkins. The trailer looked really cool. Showed off uh, some other characters that are going to be in it. Really excited for it. Um, there's Guardians 3 trailer, which... I don't know. I feel like the Guardians 3 trailer was weaker than the uh, last one that they put out. But whatever. Guardians is a, like part of the like Marvel franchise, which is probably like one of my least favorite groups. Like I think the characters are fine, but I just never really find like their story that they go into interesting. Like the villains are always super boring. The first one, obviously, like uh, Peter Quill and his mom, and that dynamic was super interesting. The first one, the dad dynamic was interesting. The second one, but the villains are just so like low. St not low stakes, but just like I don't care. I don't. I do not care about them. The main story, quote unquote, that goes on throughout the movie, just don't care about. It's more about like the character development that's happening in it alongside the main story that is actually interesting to me. So we'll see what the third one pulls out. He's apparently, you know, Adam Warlock is supposed to be part of it. Who I don't know much about. I just know he's like a super being that's supposed to be like one of the goats in the universe. So we'll see how that goes. This is kind of laid out like another one of these that we found, except the other one had like mushrooms and a bit more fog. Th oh my god, it is. This is literally a copy and paste dungeon from somewhere else. Ooh, we got key. And then what else was there? There was a, a snippet for the next Indiana Jones movie, which I'm already in on. I love Indiana Jones. It's one of my favorite franchises. Even though two out of four are bangers and then the other two is I'm just like, meh. How to use it. Finally, we get to use this. Very rarely. But yeah, it's the first one and third one, I think, are bangers. The second one, I think, is okay, but then the fourth one is fucking terrible. And uh, yeah, let's just hope the fifth one that's coming out follows the pattern and is also a banger. Ugh. Wait, what was... Okay, for some reason, it's, like, much lighter when I turn this way. Maybe that's supposed to be telling me, like, what way to go. We got pants! Nothing else. I keep doing that. I nah. I was playing Mafia yesterday, and that's the run button. Is, the, is this menu. So, and I just keep hitting it, and it's like, fuck. Okay, so the entryway was pretty similar, but...
this back area is much different than the other dungeon was. Since the other dungeon kind of had somewhat of a treasure room. Alright, where are we at? Let's see. Oh, we're on the other side. Whoa, wait, what? Okay, I guess I didn't kill everything, so let's head back in. I thought I did. I must have missed a turn somewhere. Let's uh, hop on down. Oh, wait, there's two bridging. Two bridging. Two uh, different pathways. Oh, wait, I haven't really got to use that move. We got it, and I haven't really used that push move. Yeah, what the heck? It says... Well, we did get a key from a dead body, so maybe there's a treasure chest that I'm supposed to open up. Somewhere up in here. All right, treasure chest, treasure chest. Oh, duh, this one right here. There we go. Overlooked it. Got it. Alright, we got some outfit pieces. Let's see. Uh, we got a sword, nothing. We bought this one, which we just need to gain one more level, then we can equip it. Pants a bit more leveled up. And it's also got slots. All right, what do we? What can we even do? Ignea. This one's for the shield, if I remember correctly. I I can never remember the names of these. It's always just like fuck. Wait, hold on. Two percent. Five percent. Okay, intensity. What does that mean, though? The intensity. Does that mean it can take more hits, or does that just mean when it explodes, it does more damage? Or, like, it does more pushback or something? Fudge. Alright, well... It's only by, like, one point, though. I don't know. It just feels like it's not really worth it. Like, if I want to change outfits, I want it to be a little bit more substantial, like 10 points or something. Oh, wait, no, that, that, that's jumpies. Jumpies, haha, -ha, yes. God damn it. Camera, move. Nope. Alright. Super easy. Oh, and it looks like I think we got a new cell. It looks like blue, uh, three blue cells with a green cell in the center. I am a little disappointed on the lack of like just treasure chests we can find like out in the wild. Like most of them are at the question marks. 
This guy's weaker than the other guy. Oh, maybe these were the guys that we were fighting down on the beach, and it wasn't the harpies. Because I thought the harpies were coming down a lot easier, while the ones I were fighting on the beach were staying up in the air. Damn it. Daddy. Nice. And I have been vainly trying to get more trophies in Mafia 2, even though I fucking hate that game. Like, audio issues, visual issues, clipping issues, freezing, audio, just every type of issue you can really get in that game i have got in that game yesterday i was playing it off stream for a little bit uh the freaking city was having a seizure and the textures were constantly popping in and out like literally as i was next to them and they would flash like bright like greens and pinks and shit and it's just like this game is so busted and then I was checking the list just because I was trying to do some generic stuff like get the collectibles, like get the cars. There's a thing on there where it's like drive five miles or be wanted dead by the police for 10 minutes straight. And it's just like just stupid shit that's just like time consuming and obnoxious to deal with where it's just like you are already a busted ass game. <laughs> do not try to put challenging trophies in your busted ass game. <laughs> So, I'm so I think I'm going to call it on trying to get the trophies for that game, which shouldn't have tried to get them in the first place because I'm not even that big of a fan of the second game. Although it still kills me, I won't be able to get the platinum for the first one just because that stupid fucking racing level is so insanely hard. <laughs> I'm so not good at Formula One style driving. Oh yeah, speaking of driving, another trailer that was released yesterday was also the uh, Fast 10 trailer, or Fast X, I don't know what their official name is going to be for it. I'm assuming it's just Fast Fast 10. Yeah, that show is just an, an it's just an anime now at this point. And no big surprise, they also announced the fourth Riddick movie is going to be coming out. It's in production. I don't know, like, I'm pretty sure most people know this, if they know anything about, like, Vin Diesel in his career. He basically does the Fast and Furious movies just so the studio will like sign off on him doing like other projects in the um off time. Like what was it the last Witch Hunter which was kind of, which was a pretty interesting film that he did, uh the Riddick series that he's been doing. Unfortunately, he took a long break between the Chronicles of Riddick and then the follow-up. I really wish he did more. I think that's a really interesting series. Although it is weird because the first movie, which is, I think it's called Pitch Black, feels like its own movie. Chronicles of Riddick seems like a space epic. And then the sequel to it, I can't remember the name, it's Riddick something. It feels like they tried to combine the first movie with a bit more of a lore of the third movie. Or, or a bit more of the lore from the second movie. And it kind of feels like almost like a backstep. Where it's like... Chronicles of Riddick feels kind of like a epic set in space. But then the third one just feels like a sci-fi film. So it'll be interesting to see what the fourth one is. If it goes even more sci-fi or if it goes back to the more like epic feel. When I say epic, I mean like, you know, like a Greek or Roman epic. An Odyssey type situation. Slash chosen one kind of thing happening. Which, fun fact, there is a anime movie about uh, Chronicles of Riddick. I think it was released with the DVD. And I think it was done by the same... It was animated? It's in the same animation style, and it was directed by the same person that did um, 
Aeon Flux, the cartoon, not the movie. Yeah, so there is nothing here. Shizbit. Oh wait, shoot, I don't think I ever... I did not. That would be helpful. But yeah, um... God, what's his face is gonna be in it? Aquaman. Jason Momoa, he's gonna be in it. I believe he's the main enemy. I still haven't seen the last one. I haven't seen Fast 9. <laughs> And like I said, yeah, at this point, it's basically an anime where they just do insanely ridiculous shit. Where it's like nothing surprises me in that series. Are you going to do like a kung fu action scene except it's two cars fighting one another? Okay. <laughs> Are you going to do an epic rooftop battle with the main character's weapon being a wrench for some reason? Because he's a mechanic, you know. Not surprising. It just keeps saying use, but then, like... Alright, nothing's really happening here. Dang it. We keep getting ashes, which isn't really super useful. Yeah, there's something under there. I just don't know how to get, get it. Alright, we're gonna head this way. Heading up into the mountains. Is there a cold effect? I don't think there is because nothing really happened when we were up in the mountains before. When we were over by the castle. Eee, slide. Oh, hey, hey! Finally, we haven't... Place of power, it's gotta be. We haven't done one of these in a minute. <sighs> yes, we gained an ability point. All right, that's what I was hoping we would find one of these somewhere. Uh, let's look in on our ability points. What do we got? What do we got? All right, well, I can't remember what we were moving towards. Oh, we were moving towards down here, this. one more and then we'll try it out in opposed to the shield that we already have on oh wait we have an open slot i didn't even realize we finally got the bottom slots going yeah. yeah we're gonna do the strong attack that might get swapped out oh yeah Long mountain ridge path. So I'm actually... I, I brought this up like first, but I'm super excited about the Mario movie. And honestly, not even because of the story. It's just I want to see what that world would look like if it was on like a PS5 or something. <laughs> and not a fucking potato of a console being the Switch. Which like, it's a great console, but like, it is so insanely limited. <laughs> when it comes to graphical capabilities. I do wish that they did some sort of like Switch Pro of some sort, where it's like, yes, upgrade the handheld console, but there are things that you could do 
like, uh, oh, what are they called? I can't remember their exact names, but a f like five years ago or something, they started putting out these like, you know what an external hard drive is? Where it's like basically a hard drive that you just plug into your computer externally they basically did that except with graphics cards where you could have a little bay you can plug a graphics card in and then you hook it up to like any computer laptop whatever and then the computer and lap or laptop will run as if that was a built-in graphics card it's super fucking cool i don't really do that just because i only have a graphics card and never really upgraded significantly Plus, it would be useless. I have, like, two graphics card slots on my computer. But, like, if you had, like, a laptop or something and you wanted to beef it up extra, that would be a great way to do it. It's like, they do that, except they build, like, the extra uh, graphics card into the rechargeable base. So it's, like, handheld mode. The screen's much smaller. You can downscale a lot of stuff. But then when you plug it in, it's on your TV, they can freaking use that second graphics card and like really pump some shit out. Although then you'd get the problem of like, oh, well, some games would just want to be at that level of graphics. So downscaling it would be a pain in the ass. But hey, most Nintendo original games are like most people that play the Nintendo Switch play it for the like you know Mario, Zelda, Metroid like the ones that are only on Nintendo so it's like just get those guys to do it all the other people will just have to go by like the lower res stuff but yeah that, that could be a possibility when I say possibility I mean no way in hell it would ever happen but that would be kind of cool I mean, people mod their switches and stuff all the time. Come on, come closer. It's not good. God damn it. I I still haven't figured out like the best way to deal with shield guys other than magic. I guess that's the way. I always forget that I can do that in combat. I think of that as like a non-combat move. All right, wolf pelts. Or actually, wait, I'm an idiot. I went to that village and I wasn't even paying attention to, like, what kind of businesses they had there. I was so dumb, I didn't even check that. I was just kind of focusing on the next point. All right, I'm dumb. Let's, uh, let's run back to that. Actually, I need to look that up. I know people, like, mod their switches and stuff. Someone's got to have, like, figured out a way to do an external graphics card bump to it. Although, at the same time, it's, like, that that could be hard. Because usually, a computer is capable of having a stronger graphics card. It's just usually, if it's, like, a, a laptop, it's just space. Like, they don't have space for it. But I don't know if the Switch would physically be powerful enough to do it. Which means you probably have to mod a whole extra thing to make it powerful enough. So basically building like part of a small computer just so when you docked it, it would be able to access it and run it. Come on, let's do some trading. Yeah, unfortunately no cards. The book, which I have not read yet. Maximum inventory, 100. Or stamina. Ooh. That could be good. 
No, damn it. All right, there we go. Yeah, ashes are so useless. Pelts are probably one of the better things to get. You know, it's still like not a lot. I read that already. Alright, I just want to read that book super quick. Usually it pops up over on the side. No? Okay. Well, then, forget it. Moving on. Well, we'll do some Gwent. We're just as well stocked as any landbound shop in Novograd. All right. I can't remember. I think we got a, a green card last time. We're getting pretty close to getting another deck playable. Honestly, it's been spread pretty evenly in terms of cards that I've been getting, except for red. Red is the one I want to play the most, and of course, that's the one that's like the rarest. I guess we didn't. Or I guess I already added it. We're so close. Black and green. Alright, let's start this sucker. Although, I do need to look into getting a graphics card update. I do want to do that. But it's like, at this point, it's like, should I get a graphics card update? Or should I just, like, look for a whole new computer altogether? Because I built mine, like... Eh, roughly five years ago but i made sure i bought like the upper mid-tier stuff just so it would last longer and i don't know may maybe i should just get a new computer all right we have a pretty good hand set up yeah scarecrow whatever I do not understand the rules of that card. Sometimes it takes one, sometimes it takes three. Ours is like back row heavy. If you play something for the destroys our back row, we are so fucked. I'm I just really do not understand the kill card. And that just frustrates me because it's like I think I understand it. And then it does some bullshit where it's like, okay, it's gonna take the cards from both sides. It's like what? Is it like whoever's got the highest number? And then that number just gets destroyed. So it's like if it's six, then all four sixes will get destroyed. Or like, what? what's the deal? What's the dealio, daddy-o? This is going to be a bad idea. Oh no. Okay, it is the highest level card then. Boom.
Alright. I already know he He's gonna get an extra card or two. Because he uh took our uh our spy and he's gonna play that at some point, so he'll have a card advantage. Hopefully he, he doesn't have another kill card. Fuck. Oh well, well we have swap ten for ten. And it's in the middle as well. Middle row. I can't remember. Do weather I don't think weather effects affect the uh, golden tens. Also, kill cards don't affect them too. That's one good thing about the golden ones is that like no effects work on them. You're gonna play it, I know. Come on, like, oh wow, really? He saved the spy card for the very last. Even if he gets a kill card, I'll still have the four extra points. Oh wait, let's... Oh, I can't do it. All right. I was gonna say, play his effect just to buy time. There we go. Your move, fuckface. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, fuck, okay. Is it a horn? No. Fuck, an A. Are you kidding me? He had another spy card? Got halfway. Luckily, he didn't pull a horn or anything. Which, he wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to catch up even if he did. Yay, we get him. Actually, wait, yeah, the last person we fought didn't even give us a card. And I thought that was super weird. All right, we got another green card. Oh, we're so close at completing that set. Actually being able to play it. Two varying degrees of success, probably. All right, let's see here. Sweetness, so we got that. Um... Traveling merchant. God, there's so much shit out in the water, but every single time we go out there, it's like the same thing where it's like harpies around a fucking treasure chest, which are a pain in the ass to deal with. All right. Actually, that's fast travel. Like, I find it interesting. There's fast travel points to cities that we haven't been to before. But they show up on the map. I don't know if that's just to signify this is where you need to get for the fast travel point. No, you could just go there. Was I here before? I do not think so. I'm gonna cheat it a little and go there. We ain't walking 10,000 miles. Ba da da da. It's a dark and stormy night. Ooh. What's happening? Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skelliger warriors alone drink in this tavern. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? Wait out in the yard then. Till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me, die, Yoran. Or I'll tuck you in, Nita Barra. And you remember this, stranger. 
This here's not Kerr Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Such a small bar. <laughs> like a bar area. Well, what? Show me what you've got. Specialty goods alone. But I don't expect a tramp from the continent to know him from tripe. Yes! Alright. Already read that. Boom, a bunch of reds, baby! A game of Gwen. It's weird that he doesn't have, like, the card symbol next to it. Usually when you can play someone in Gwent, they have that little card symbol. All right, let's see the green cards that we got. Oh, okay, multi-summon. Oh, two more. Then we're there, baby. Ooh, yes. We, those were two multi-summons that we got. Okay, I'm not 100% how these work. Do they summon... Do they just summon the characters out in thin air, or do you have to have the other characters in your deck? as well for you to summon them that is what i'm unsure about oh yeah i forgot this one we have a golden eight which i haven't really seen too many gold cards that were other than 10. just over the midway point boys getting this sucker going all right let's do this all right he's playing green Nice. Yeah, okay. Greens. Um, greens do have multi summons, so I need to keep an eye out for that. Unfortunately, we do not have a horn. I think we'll start with doing doing this, doubling up on these guys. And we do have two spies, so that's super good for us. Oh yeah, he also can have a kill card, so you need to keep an eye out for that. Of course, that's like the standard play. Eh, might as well, let's throw this down. Like, if it's not comboing with something, then it's, like, kind of useless. The classic trading back and forth. <laughs> ha, perfect. Perfect! Oh my god, yes! Multi summons are always in the front row. You're about to get effed in the A, son. Doesn't matter, we can throw them in. We have the ice card, so we can just freeze them out. Ooh, we got two ice cards! Ooh, plus those two. We'll use those two for the next round. Oh, are you really? Oh no, what, what am I to do? You are so, so much more levels up. Except for this, you boom. I've already won. <laughs> nice. And we are fucking stacked.
for the next round. We are, unless he has got kill cards coming out, we have won this. Plus, we have an extra ice card just in case we need it. And like always, I'll hold the medic off until the end of the round, just in case we need to uh, resummon back someone. All right, we'll start with these two. All right, how many multi summons did he use first round? I think, was it, it was definitely one. Was it two, maybe? Should take out the 10. See, I don't understand that. Like, what what's going on there? That just like confuses me to no end. I don't understand how that works. Alright, we got this unlock. Boom. got three cards and I don't want to risk it being sun I got a bad feeling he's definitely got a sun card That completely annihilates his front row. Yeah, fuck. He's got one more card. Oh my god, he didn't play it! What was his final card? He would have won that if he played it. Like, literally anything over a three. Unless it was a zero card. He does have zeros, so maybe that was it. Boom. Alright, we got some coin. Ooh, yes! Another red card! This- Coming to this island is the place to go to get fucking red cards. Hell yeah. Alright, let's check around town on the map. See, doesn't look like there's any other shops, really. I'm trying to think of games where you're, like party companion is a dog i know there's a few games but none of them spring to mind um i know in metal gear 5 i want to say you can have a dog be like a little support buddy sorry we just passed a dog and that's what made me think of that uh, -doo 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 -doo. all right let's see what's around just again, just more like more. All right, let's head here. By means of the footpath. some lightnings. Wait, am I insane? Like, there, it's a branch, right? It branches off. Yeah, yeah, it branches over. Well, okay, let's go there. 
We're gonna have to go there anyway if we're following the path. Bunch of wolves. Some strong winds. Some of these trees really starting to bend. Top 10 most flexible trees in video games. Oi. What happened to your father? He was cutting wood and a bear attacked him. Show me where it happened. Over here, past the trees. Your bastard's gonna stab us. He's not actually a child. He's a dwarf in disguise with a high pitched voice. Disarmed. <laughs> such a dumb, such a dumb response, but I love using it whenever I chop off someone's arm. It's always so fun. We're having a good time, everyone. Boy, where are you? Well, we just did that. What? Lost your nerve? Okay, that was the wrong direction. I was trying to go towards the big group. There we go. What am I, a cotton gin? What is with all of this? Leather. Well, we completed that. Well, like, what, what else is there? It says there's still more combat. Oh, there we go. You'll never learn. Gotcha. There, now people can come back. And the rain has stopped. I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. I need to do that more. <laughs> Just insert old cheesy song lyrics into everyday conversation just to see if people notice. Like, uh, if you've ever seen the movie The Other Guys, the uh, cop movie with Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg, their chief, played by Michael Keaton, keeps quoting... Uh... God, who... Oh my god, I'm drawing a blank on it. Uh, who did... Can't go chasing waterfalls. I can never remember the name. But he just like keeps quoting like song titles from them throughout the whole movie and they're like what the heck like you just keep quoting i don't know what you're talking about and just like completely gaslights them on knowing what the hell they're talking about even though he's clearly doing it on purpose Come closer stranger okay this is gonna bother me looking to buy TLC. God damn it, that's what it was. 
the yeah <laughs> you kept quoting tlc songs show me your way uh, reddit 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 on reddit 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 karma damn it you are useless sir Got a respectable pair of pants. So expensive. You are useless. So long. Hey there. Come take a gander. All right. Next place should be heading over to this town. And then, yeah, maybe we'll do the other question marks around the town before we head out onto the bridge to those smaller islands. Wow, oh, very, very bright out, very hazy. I shall not. Clip little gun. Eh, actually, now that I look at it, those aren't super close, but whatever. We'll do them. try to stay up away from the shoreline just in case it's like a cliff nope nope it's down there all right um okay yeah it's down on the shore mm -hmm. you screwed me why can't i get like a glider or a parachute <laughs> Wh where's the parachute mod or the uh, zelda glider mod for this game Seriously, you are not the chosen one, guy. Which one of you are the lucky ones with the key? Some water. A bit of leather. Oh, I should look into that one quest the smithy wanted us to do a while ago. The dwarf and the girl. They gave us, like, a quest for, like, materials for armor. I think it's supposed to be out on this island. Thanks, mate. Hell, you know the place, but the forge there. Come and visit, I'll have a reward for you. Thanks, mate. 
Alright, let's see where that is. He's a smithy, so that's super useful. It doesn't help that some of these towns just do not have names. Oh, oh. <laughs> that place. Fuck. Alright, let's just kind of follow the water. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well. We're swimming, I guess. It's in like wet leather. Swimming in wet leather. It's so comfortable. I'm just a 30-year-old girl boss, swimming in leather. Fighting all of these sirens that are swooping at my head with my silver sword. They think they can take me out. They are sadly mistaken. <laughs> Easier. I'm a moron. I should have thought of that. Oh, wait, what? Oh, fuck. She was underwater. I'm so dumb. If you just lock on, you got him. I was trying to aim down the sights, but if you just, like, lock on, you can just pop him one. It's way easier. Why did I not realize that? I think I did, but I might have forgotten. Oh, I got the stank on me. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Wait, behead, behead. I had a behead option. Die. When they die, it sounds like they're making like dinosaur sounds. So much easy. God damn, how did I not realize that? Tony Hawk action happening there. Oh my god, Witcher skin for Tony Hawk game, please. That would be awesome. Gerald hitting some sick tricks on the half pipe. Fuck off. Are you kidding me? All right. I think we picked up some weapons at some point. We could probably throw them away. Oh, actually, they're not even... Fuck. All right. Mm. God, I wish we could level up how much we carry. I 
don't shop at the pants. God, it sucks when you have to lose armor like that. Even if it's not good, you could still sell it for a little bit. Alright, let's go for a lengthy swim. Oh, God. Here we go. Plenty of seaweed underwater. I don't know, what does seaweed good for? Like, obviously, I'm assuming it's probably for some sort of potion of some sort. We really haven't been getting into crafting at all. For, like, here's a... Like, like whatever that one potion was. Was it a bolt potion or something? When we first started the game? Fuck me. And there's, like, a bunch of these dudes flying around. There's so many of them. We can't. Come on. Jumpies. Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently we can't hop up on that. Come on. There we go. That fucking vertical jump for days. Alright, we're just gonna follow this path down. A lot of birds around here. Oh, there's a lighthouse way out there. Okay, sweet. Let's go check that out. And a big ass stone over there. Parkour. Alright, let's see where... Okay, it's still up ahead. there was like an XP system for like we certain weapons like axes swords hand to hand and I love how you can just hit the button to eat and you don't have to do like a stupid drink or eat animation to do it it just autos in your when you're in combat like Dark Souls. Although that's part of the fun in Dark Souls is trying to get that timing down. Not too late to surrender. Yep. Yeah, we haven't really used too many raw materials like iron, copper, like what have you. To, like actually forge anything oh fuck saddle that's gonna weigh us down oh hello okay there's a chest there I 
All right, what's our weight capacity at? Oof. All right, let's hope it's nothing like some insane weapons. God damn it. How do we get down? We need to get down there without snapping our ankles in half by jumping down and trying to do the superhero landing. Although that would probably destroy our knees as well. You know, most of the most of the legs would just be completely shattered if you did the superhero landing. Speaking of the superhero landing, I've not heard any news on Deadpool 3 since they announced Wolverine. What the hell is happening here? Ooh, yeah, we haven't got to do one of those in a minute. A fancy looking thing. That is a special quest item, probably. Disarmed. Alright, what the hell? That looks like way too fancy of a horn. The hollowed horn. All right, let's continue over to the uh, what's a dinghy lighthouse, and hopefully, we won't be driven slowly insane like many lighthouse keepers before us. Ooh, I wonder, will it have a lighthouse keeper over under on that? I want to say yes. Actually, you know what? Knowing video games, no. They usually do not have lighthouse keepers in most video games. <gasps> no! Oh, I did not know that was a thing I could do. I was trying to jump. Okay, I I'm okay with that. I thought we were literally just falling to our death. I didn't... Uh-oh. I hear sirens. Yeah, I did not know you could do that kind of dive. No! Motherfucker! What was that? I did like two jump cancels in that fall. I'm just trying to run and jump. I'm not trying to run and dive, you freaking fathead. Okay, maybe I'll try to like balance walk across the beam. There we go. Mm -hmm. Not your average mist. Miss G be not. Oh fuck. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. It was going to be the other one. The one where we need the, uh... Where we need the, uh, grenade to... Actually be able to hit him. Wound on his back. He was running away. All right. I keep forgetting this is the button. Wound on his back. He was running away. I'm just to use that to being something else, because my mindset when I play this game is like Dark Souls. So I always forget that we have like Witcher senses. Oh, there were a few people here. Almost managed to find cover. Almost. Almost. Hey, 
anyone there. Cutscene! Uh, how did you get here? I walked. What do you think? It is an island. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. <laughs> Pulled it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispering me name. Miguel. Miguel. I look out. There's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. I can try to help. First, though, a couple of questions. Ask a hundred, if you will. Just get me out of here. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. This wraith, the big one. Tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew. <laughs> knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry. Only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. I'm gonna get sauced up before I go in and fight. Oh my god, um... As I said that, it just reminded me of uh, South Park. There's an episode where Stan... God, what was it? I can't remember the exact storyline, but, like, he thinks... It wasn't in The Matrix. It's like life is crap, so he, like, starts drinking, and he finds these group of people where it's like, the reason why your life's so shitty, it's because of, like, The Matrix, man. And then they, like, go off and, like, have to fight these people that, like, they're saying are, like, controlling the world or whatever. But in reality, they're all just getting like super drunk, stumbling around the streets and like trying to fight while completely shit based drunk. And it's so hilarious because they're just like, bleh, 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 and then just swing and then completely miss. And it's like, that's what I need to be. I need to be uh, drunken sword style. Is that a thing? I know there's like the drunk fist from like a bunch of the old kung fu movies and whatnot. Is there a sword style equivalent? It's just like Geralt, just completely drunk 24-7. It's like, I'm Geralt <laughs> I'm sorry, you're what? He just falls off the horse. <laughs> He's doing an epic fight on the freaking cliffside. He just swings, completely misses, just falls right off the side. See, this would be a good time to like ignite. All right, there's something up here. I want to start top down. It's gonna be at the very bottom floor, isn't it? Oh wait, hello, no. No, 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 no. What are these scrolls? Ah, it's so hard to do because the freaking ladder's right there. Well, well, lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. probably missed something on the upper levels too i didn't realize that the thing would be like a small scroll tucked in like that
Alright, we're gonna oh hello. Runes. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good oh, thing it fuck. appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Fuck. With that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. Let me guess, we're gonna have to uh, guide him there while fighting off the enemies. Phew, it's just you. Learn anything? Uh, yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks? Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I, I... I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can feel it. Perhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go before I change my mind. Escort mission. Look there. It's him. I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me and come for you. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage. That's not good. to do dodgies. Not a good time for my sword to be breaking down, buddy. Holy shit snacks. I just wish that the food healing would be just a bit faster. Oh my god, it's so slow. There's got to be another, like a, some potion or something somewhere that I can find that can do this. That can heal me, like, faster. Like, I know if we meditate that will happen, but clearly we can't do that in combat.
penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikyol's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that'll break the curse. All right, we got kind of overwhelmed right at the beginning, so we got a huge chunk of health taken down, but I'm assuming though, like the wave that we were on, maybe he summons one wave per like section of health he has, since he has three sections, I'm assuming he'll do that summon of a bunch of them like three times, three or four times. Um, Let's save. Actually, um, I will be right back. I need to take a bathroom break. And then we will kick some ass. So, two seconds. Alright, we are back. Now, let's go beat some ass. <laughs> take two. Oop. Phew. It's just you. Island's haunted by a... Like, long welcome. What guest? Look! Nice. Hurry up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. Well, I can at least take out one of them as they're being summoned. That's good to know. Yeah, I'm not 100% what those do. Maybe it keeps them from teleporting when they're in it or something? Yeah, I still need to read up on what that one does. I keep meaning to and keep not doing it. I was having such issue last time. Whoop. I guess I wasn't getting in there and starting to kill them as they were being summoned. way easier what the fuck yeah that go around was so much simpler yes. did, did it work no we're all dead this is purgatory but that doesn't make the island safe because you're still here a lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks sheesh i made a mistake I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... But... Is it ever explained why so many people in this game have yellow eyes? Like, I get why Geralt does, but I don't get why, like, just normal, quote-unquote, people do. Why are the normies got golden eyes? Like, it's just, like, different eye color, one of the staples of this, of, like, the different races and stuff. Wait, why am I running, running up there? Um, I should probably fix up my sword. Oh my god, I almost fell off the fucking cliff. <laughs> Oh god. All right. Let's uh let's meditate for a second. Get all healed. 
and then we will save. All right. Let's see, map. We need a boat. Oh, wait, no, there is a teleport point there. All right, we're going to teleport point to the two that are on the island so we can pick them up and we can see all the surrounding question marks. There's so many. God damn. <laughs> all right. I find it a little cheap that you can just teleport to places you haven't been before. But at the same time, I'm still using it, so... <laughs> I'm a firm believer in you must explore the place or like be get there before you can teleport there. Like physically like walk there somehow or get there before you can teleport to there. But hey, it's making this easier for us, so. Or maybe it's because we lowered the difficulty. Nah, I mean, no, no, no. It's still on normal at the very least. All right, let's see what we got in this town. And then we got a smith. He hurt. He got me. What brings it to me? Oh, sweet. We can play Gwent with them, All right? Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. We probably won't have cards. It's usually the bartenders that have the cards. Yeah. Oh, we're so close to uh, getting another level. Oh, wait, no. Did we pick up another sword? Oh, whoa. Okay. Our... We did pick up another sword. Sweet. And I don't think that saddle's anything special. I think we already have one like it. I think it's just a different design. We sell both of them. Hey, Ash. What's up? Your connection died on console. What do you mean? <laughs> that is some damage on that one. Holy shit. Fortunately, we never buy those. The blueprints for weapons are so freaking expensive. In the mood for some diversion. The game of Gwent would be best. Yeah, we haven't found any blue cards. In a bit. Weird. Main cable not connected. So did you do the usual things like check to make sure it's not like the cable that's acting weird and it is like the console and everything? I should add that guy. I see the value in the spies now, so I should add him. Um, all right, let's do this. Good enough. Good enough set. Wait, why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Ah! Hit the wrong button. I meant cancel. Jesus, fuck. Luckily, we did not lose anything on that. Ooh, gotcha. Let's do this to get another card.
dead. We are getting a huge set. God damn, we just keep trading our spies. All right. Um. All right, let's throw this guy out. Some of these lower people are kind of useless. Like, they can't combo with anything or do anything, really. Oh, perfect! He threw them in the grave, which means we can uh, summon them back. Oh, actually, hmm. I don't know if that works. If I use a heal card and revive them back... If that would work, because I think it would come on to our side, so it wouldn't... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to waste it, and I want to see if this works. Oh no, it works like that. Okay, so it works like it normally would. He somehow has less cards than us still. All right, they pass. All right, we will pass as well. We will win this round, and then the next round we will destroy them. We got a shitload. Oh. got this we just basically got to play all the cards in our hand it's not a big deal um on the other side we'll wait a little bit and then play the ice card i want to make sh i'm hoping he doesn't have a sun card because that would suck oh perfect we can combo these two guys dude this is a fucking fat stack of people that we're throwing out here okay he's got three cards left shit luckily we have that frost for the front row An another one oh yeah good thing we have frost for the front row holy shit we finally broke 100 in uh points i've been trying to do that for a while He hasn't played any weather cards whatsoever. Just don't play the sun card. Boom! We've won. By a lot. <laughs> Booyah. Ah. Man, I'm getting excited. Just a few more days for, until uh, the Modern Warfare Season 2 comes out. I think it's out on 
Thursday, I want to say. Um, still don't know uh, if they expanded their battle pass, but I do know their uh, level cap is higher. Right now, their level cap is 250. They're doubling it to 500. Which, actually, I know it sounds insane, but leveling in that game is super easy. So, like, within the first month of me playing it, I already got, like, 250. So, like, I've basically been coasting in that game for, like, I think almost two months. Like, after the first three to four weeks it was out, I've been basically coasting. <laughs> and I really haven't played it too much recently. Just a little bit here and there, just because I'm kind of just waiting for the uh, the update to happen. All right, let's see. Is there anything else in this little town? Oh, okay. We got a shop. They might have some cards for us. Uh, surprisingly, no bar. How the hell? Nope, wrong way. I am directionally impaired. Like Zoro. Ooh, there is a bar. Yay. Oh, I should have repaired my sword. I, I'll go back and do that. Hey, stranger. Looking for some entertainment? Want a drink? What kind of entertainment you got in mind? What? Why beer, mead, and strong spirits? <laughs> they expected a tavern. Jump rope. I don't know where you're from, but I can see it's far off. All right, let's see. Any cards? Show me what you have in stock. Boom! A bunch of readies. We do have two of this one. Yeah, I messed up and bought two of those. Sweet. So it all kind of balances out. What would you say to a little game of Gwent? Although recently I have been doing kind of crap in uh, Warzone. Like, I've been playing okay, I've just, like, not gotten any wins. Because, I don't know, like, the last week has been so bad in that game where it's, like, I'll go in for groups of four, and, like, everyone bails. So, I, like, end up playing solo for, like, over half the match. It's just, like, ah. So annoying when you do that. Especially, like, when you're playing as a team, and then you're, like, more than halfway through and then everyone just starts bailing and it's like why we can still buy you back and shit lame lame all right let's start this our Gwent simulator hmm. i should probably get rid of this guy What's he playing? He's playing blue. So, okay. The ice card will be useless for us. Damn it. I should get rid of those two as well. Like, they don't really combo with anything. What you've been up to? Like, what you've been playing? Apex? I'm guessing. Alright, this is probably going to be a dumb move. Yeah, she's front row too. I definitely need to get rid of her. She doesn't combo, she's front row. 
Usually, if we ever try to like use weather, it's frost on the front row. Yeah, we've already wasted way too many cards. Fuck. This round is his just because he's got the stupid fucking horn. Whatever, we're going all in. Wait, how do I have five cards and he has... Oh, yeah, yeah, he played the spy. I forgot. Fuck, he has a way better hand than me. Yeah, we've lost. I need to, like, rebalance my deck. Two level 10s, motherfucker, is stacked. Yeah, he's won this. Like, he's got double the amount of cards we have right now, and... And he's gonna resummon... Oh, dude, this guy is fucking good. Shit. Yeah, he's won, like... Yeah, he's got six cards, we have two. Three. <sighs> Fucking, it's our turn. I'm gonna lose this round. It's just gonna force him to play a card. He does have the medic card in his hand. Fuck, and he draws another card! Two cards! Fuck! Okay, that backfired. He ended up getting more cards out of that than I thought. What the shit? I've never seen a card higher than level 10. Holy shit. Yeah, it's just that's an auto win. Like, that one card just wiped out everything that we have. Hello? Eh, we'll, we'll see. No, yeah, he's won. He's got way more cards than us. We're totally fucked. What season are they up to in Apex? Because I remember uh, Overwatch 1 got up there in like season, I think, 20 or 30. Before uh, Overwatch 2 came out. Yeah, we're, we're fucked. Oh, okay. I wonder if they're gonna try to do the same thing that Overwatch did and like make like Apex 2 where they kind of just like update all the characters and whatnot and give you like a new map. Yeah, that fucking sucked. We need to beat this asshole. What would you say to a little game of Gwent? What's your average on a uh, competitive? Like your ranking? No, wait. God damn it. What did I do? Oh my god. I'm a moron. I was literally just saying how I needed to fix my deck and I did not do it. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we got a bit better cards here. Uh, let's give her better. Nice. Okay, okay. We, we definitely have a more solid deck or more solid hand. I'm going to save these final three for the next turn, hopefully. Let's see if he has a horn. Wasting a weather card, okay. Which means I can waste a turn by doing this. Shaboom. Which means he'll play a card and we'll be like one card ahead. Motherfucker, unless he does that. Oh, when it summons the horn, I didn't realize that. Did he do that last time? That's where he pulled the horn from? 
shit. Yeah, this, this, this is useless. We have no one to combo it with, so. Perfect, we'll play that. We'll win by one point, and then we'll use the medic to summon it back next round. You called it too early, my friend. Although that definitely allowed us to waste some cards. Uh, two. Oh, well, we got one. And of course, it's one of the weaker cards in our deck that I needed to get rid of. Yeah, he's got a level 10. He's got a level 15, too, somewhere in his deck. So it's like, fuck. Wow, okay, he's got two level 10s and a level 15. That is fucking stacked ass deck. All right, so I'm assuming he has some back row cards he's gonna start whipping out. All right, pull him. And then we can combo with the other one in our hand and double their points. Oh, a level seven gold healer. Man, I, he's got a lot of cards. There's a lot of cards I still need to get for the blue deck. That card would be nice to get. I mean, two points higher, plus it brings someone back. Sun card. Okay, that was a throwaway turn for him. But why? He already used up his horn in the first round. So unless he drew a horn card, we should be good. Perfect hundred. Okay, he's got two cards. Let's see. I don't think he has a kill card. Oh, but he's got one of those. Who's he going to revive? Catapult. Mid row. Hole. Oh. I was afraid he was going to play uh, back row. Son of a bitch! He just keeps comboing! Okay, we got it, we got it. Victory! Alright, we got some gold coin. Ooh, black, black card. Oh wait, actually, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I think I can edit my deck somewhere else. Take care. Um, let's see. Gwent deck. It's weird that it's in that menu and not in the other menu. All right. Uh. Yeah, we have one too many. And we did put this guy in, just because it obviously minimizes the uh, point gain the other team has. I don't know how many we get though. Hold on, let's see here. Um, oh, change leader, did we? Oh, we never got the other ones. Oh, and that's the one he was playing. That one summons the horn. No, okay, we got this elf-ish looking dude. One more card, then we got a new deck to play with, people. Oh, what? This guy plays on both green and black? Two more. We got that one. Oh, this dude just plays on everyone's team, it looks like. One more. Oh my god, one more than we can play a monster deck. That's gonna be so awesome. Weird, I did not realize that. So we have him for every color. Mercenary, right? I want to get rid of him. They don't combo, but at least they're like a level five.
Um, I don't know where he is placed, if he's front row or not. And we'll put in another horn. All right. So we're mostly level fives, except for these cards that do like specific like, comboing things. Um. I got. I wish there was a button so we could read the card. That seems like such a basic thing, but it doesn't. There's nothing there. For it. Damn it. All right, let's go to the smithy, fix our sword, since it's in need of repair. Which, yeah, by the way, we went there by accident. I was trying to find the shop down here. Damn the dogs, you don't look like one to haggle. I don't haggle. Oh, another Gwent player. Show me what you got and we'll see. God damn, this island is stacked full of Gwent people. Alright, we got two books. They're both pretty cheap. We'll buy both of them. And then we'll play some more Gwent. Because it is only a mild addiction. Recently, I've been getting way into the lore of the back rooms. Boom! Just a random tidbit. Okay, this person's green, which means they do have the possibility for multi summon, so I will keep the ice card. Um, and yeah, get rid of the kill card. Okay, we got a spy. So let's play him. I don't know if there's a set number for all the spies where it's like you guaranteed always get two cards or if some like only get you one card nope it seems like they all give you two cards okay so that dude seems to be like the best spy because it just minimum amount that you are uh giving the enemy right. i can't tell does that guy give us two i think he just gave us one And at this point, we're just like trading spies just so we can build, build out our hand a lot more. All right, I'm going to play him. Oh, okay. He's front row. I always want to minimize front row because like I said, the, usually when we play a weather card, it's ice and that just destroys the front row. So we won that one. This, this looks like this might be an easy win for us. Um, I'm going to play the Spy again, pull two more cards. Oh, we got another Ice card. Fuck. Alright. Doubling the same Weather card is always useless. Um, this should be our winning round. Oh, we got two Horns. Okay, so that's good for us. Yeah, we both have, like, stacked hands. Okay, it does give you two cards. Yeah, it's been hard getting more 10 card level 10s. We have really not... I don't know if we just have to win them off of people, or if there are shops that we need to go to. In fact, I haven't really looked super carefully at, like, the bigger cities. Or, like, Gwent cards. Which I should probably do that. Actually, let me check my graveyard. I don't remember what I have in there. Damn it. There's just so many like little functions that this game just does not have. Like look at your card effect or check your uh check your graveyard. Ooh, 
back row. Okay. Luckily, we have sun, so... Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is basically set up the field. We'll see if he does any weather changes in between that time. I will play frost, then the next turn I'll play sun to get rid of both rain and frost, and then I'll play frost again. Just so we can like spend more time like having them throw out more cards. Yeah, that front row is a big problem. Good thing we have double frost. Yeah, we'll throw that out now. Massively cuts down his attack power. And we'll wait before we do the, that frost combo, just so we can... Uh... I can't remember. She's mid-row, right? Yeah, the other guy was front row for sure. God, he's really bi building out his mid-row. Shit. Oh my god, another 10! All these people I've been fighting recently have like 3 or 4 10 cards. Where we only have one. I'll do that. And he'll play his final card. Motherfucker! Another 10 card! Oh my god! This dude is fucking insane! So many 10 cards! How, How the fuck do we not get more of those, man? Okay, we got gold. And what else did we get? We got a red. <gasps> oh, fuck yeah, we got a red. All right. Griffin. And we have enough. We have the minimum requirements to for a deck. And I, I can't remember the effects of our leader. Oh, we already have two different uh, ones. God, these these dudes look so dope. This is definitely like this shit's pulled right from Berserk. <laughs> we did it. And I said at the beginning of this that I would not be getting into Gwent, and what happens? I get really into Gwent. <laughs> I'm a sucker for TCG. Wait, hold it. Hold it, Smithy. Go back, whence you came. Oh, I guess I can't do Smithy stuff. Alright. Let's do a little time skip until morning. And then uh, we'll get our sword fixed, and th then I think we're going to call it for today. I'm probably going to drop into some war zone tonight. What brings it to me? Desperation, mostly. Need something crafted. Prepared. Shit, that's a big hit. Let's let's take it. Oof. Oh, dude, I, I forgot we got that sword. I should check on that. Farewell. Damn it! I just wasted getting everything repaired when we're gonna swap one of them out, aren't we? All right, I'm going to do that now because I know I'll forget.
13 more points. Um, let's see here. The other one had a bunch of bleed on it, which honestly, I didn't really see too much use out of that. Chance to stagger. Armor piercing. Chance to freeze. Chance to poison. This is a sword that we use mainly against humans, though, so I need to keep that in mind. Chance to cause burn. I think burning might be the best one to go. Yeah, we're gonna do burning. There we go. Beefed up sword. Although I preferred the other one and looked way cooler. Although a sheath was kind of crap. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it for today. Uh, let's see. I think we have one more bulletin board that we have to go to. Then we have a few question mark things that we can do around this island. We'll probably do those. Uh, God, there's so many out in the water. We are so fucked. <laughs> We need to get a better boat. Uh, we'll probably come over here and grab that. Yeah, so tomorrow's going to be Genshin Impact. We are going to just uh, continue. We're going to be finishing up the event that's going on right now, which is the whole Samurai Duel mini game, which I really like. We're going to be doing the rest of those and then see where that takes us. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, we're probably going to do... And then on uh, Wednesday, we will come back into The Witcher 3. We're probably going to do these ones that are like right around the island and then jump over to this lower one over here. And uh, yeah, finish out that. And then uh, this weekend, we are going to continue Mafia 2, the DLC. Um, we started the first part of the DLC, and unfortunately, it was just apparently like an arcade add-on. Um, I don't know. Right now, I'm thinking maybe we continue it because there aren't that many missions in it but the weirdest thing is the second piece of dlc is the story for the guy you play in the first part of the dlc it's like why it's just open world arcadey shenanigans and then they waited for the second part of the dlc to actually put a story behind that character so part two and three of the dlc are going to be story based and i'm just debating on whether or not to continue playing the first part which are just like side quest stuff so we'll see when we get to the weekend but uh yeah we're going to be continuing the mafia 2 dlc but yeah that is it for day 895 of streaming in a row thanks for coming out and hanging out always appreciate it and uh yeah like always links down below for my twitter where i tweet out every day when i'm online when i'm playing as well as links over to my YouTube channel where all my previous streams are uploaded and archived over there. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow with some Genshin Impact. If not, I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday with some more Witcher 3. I am off to go play probably some Warzone. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today, guys. See you.